This is Mick from Mick's Backyard Hydroponics Aquaponics Farm. Hope you enjoy this video that you're going to watch. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe down the bottom with the little red tag. Please comment, suggest if you think I'm doing something wrong and need to correct it, please comment. And I hope you enjoy the video. Catch you later. Okay, folks. That's where I'm going to put my indoor aquaponics system. My first aquaponics system. So that's where I'm going to put it. What I'm going to do now is set up the fish tank and show you how that's been set up. Okay, what I'm going to do is I've got some of this stuff here, which is a bit of the foam, foamy stuff, and I'm going to cut out to go underneath the fish tank. So it has a bit of cushion. I'll do that and then show you. Okay, I've cut that bit and it's sitting in there. So I'm going to fit a fish tank into there and then go from there. Fish tank's in. So we're halfway there. Okay, what I'm going to do is put that top piece back on, which is this piece here. Sit that up there. sit around this way that will sit up there like that and we're almost there just got to connect up all the pipe work so what I'll do is I'll connect all the pipe work up and get back to you Hey folks, welcome back. I have finally finished my first ever aquaponics system using a fish tank and a container. As you can see, I've used um, lava rock. Lava rock in there planted a parsley that I had in the backyard and I'm cycling at the moment so it's all done bell siphon done all good getting ready to siphon out So that's it. Water's a bit dirty at the moment because it's still siphoning through the lava rock, getting a bit of the dirt out of the lava rock. So that's it's probably cleared up heaps since the last time I um, did it. So that pattern you can see is the pattern off of there, just reflecting up to there. But she should be getting close to siphoning. Should be really close. Yeah, it's just starting to go now. So it's been running for about an hour. Seems to be everything seems to be running well. happy with it at the moment, as long as it continues to run like it is. And it's just about to go, I think. There it goes. And 
done. There goes the cipher. Okay, at the moment we're sitting on HP of 8.58. It was 8.65, so it's dropping down pretty good. So, pretty happy with that. And the other one is TDS is point I'll say point nineteen for PPM. So I'll keep an eye on that and write it down. So I know. So yeah, we're up and running. So that's it folks, I've done it. It's my first ever macroponic system. So all we're going to do now is just do updates. I'll probably do a daily update just to keep an eye on the HP and the PP, what's going on there, what's happening with the tank, is it cleaning itself up getting clear, all that type of stuff, and sort of go from there. So, basically that's it. It's done. So, I'll leave it at that folks, and I hope you're having a very nice day, and I shall catch you next video. Okay folks, have fun. Hey everybody, welcome back. Just got two goldfish to start off to put into my mini aquaponics system. So I got them, I'm just getting them used to water temperature and used to the HP. So what I've done is I've put them upside, put an air stain in with them, keep them happy. And I've already put one of these in five minutes ago. So I'm going to put another one in just to bring that HP up slowly so it doesn't stress them when I let them out. So at the moment, the HP of the fish tank is. See that? About five point seven. And the HP of fish water is six point one. 6.3 so it's getting there I'll probably do another couple of more water in for them and then I'll let them out and that will be the start of my fish so that will be good everything seems to be running fine water's filling up quite nicely Water down here is clearing up pretty good. Um, it's looking all good, so I'm happy. So, I'll get these two in the tank and start it. I've got a few more herbs I want to put in the top of here. I've got a sweet potato, a bit of parsley, and this thing that was cut off from, uh, now I've forgotten the name, there we go, what a bugger, celery, that's it, that's an old celery plant that I've put in there to see if she'll grow, so none of them have turned up and gone all weird and not looking good, they're actually looking pretty good, me um, digital HB says 5.62, 
but I'm not sure. I reckon it might need calibrating. Now we're just about to run through a cycle. So the water's. I've got little holes drilled in that pipe along the pipe there, just to let a bit more water come out like that for air. So once it, it runs pretty good. I'm quite surprised that it first go went and it hasn't stopped since. It's going really well. But um, yeah, it should take off soon. Should be getting very close to going. Yeah, sounds like it. Now it's taken its time because I want to show you how it works. It'll be about right. Okay, it should be going. Okay, that's weird. The water's still filling up, so it might not be quite full yet for it to take off. Okay, now it's going to make a liar of me. It's been running for three days. Four days. Five days. Non-stop. Been running fine. And now she's decided to not want to run. Which is a bit bizarre. There we go. That's draining out as you can see. And that's it. Now the cycle done. So, this is the start of my indoor herb garden. Miniature aquaponic system. So what I'm going to do is put a bit more herbs in there, get these fish in and come back and do another video when I've done that. So I hope you're having a fantastic day guys and I shall catch you next video. Catch you later.